So recently I had a question from someone that wanted to know the difference between gallstones and kidney stones. Are they the same stones, just in different organs? Uh, actually, no. So gallstones are really cholesterol stones, not because the person's consuming a high cholesterol diet. It's because they don't have enough bile, B-I-L-E, that thing that helps you dissolve fats. It's a fluid like a detergent that helps break down grease and fats and helps you absorb fat-soluble vitamins. If you don't have enough bile, you can develop uh, different deposits of cholesterol and that turns into stones. Okay, so the question is, how do you prevent cholesterol stones, okay? Number one, you wanna keep a low carbohydrate diet. Why? Because high carbohydrate diets, lots of sugar, will spike insulin and it'll actually lead to cholesterol stones, okay? Number two, saturated fats. Did you realize that saturated fats release bile and going on a low saturated fat diet can increase your risk of gallstones? Check it out, I put the link down below. A moderate amount of protein between three and six ounces is perfect not an excessive amount of protein because that could create a problem with a spike of insulin. And lastly, a large amount of vegetables to keep the liver healthy and to keep the cholesterol going through the gallbladder. Okay, now we're getting to kidney stones. Kidney stones are not made out of cholesterol. They're made out of calcium oxalate or uric acid crystals, okay? Now, one thing I would recommend to prevent these stones, especially if you're susceptible to them, if you've had one in the past, is consume lemon juice on a regular basis because the citrate in the lemon juice will counter the oxalate stones, okay? Now, if you're doing a ketogenic program, intermittent fasting, and you're susceptible to getting stones, chances are it's gonna be more of a uric acid crystal type stone or gout, in which case, again, lemon juice would help and also potassium citrate would help as well simply because this is more of a pH uh, type situation. When your pH becomes a little too acidic, you can develop this right here. So you wanna alkalize it with these, not to mention the vegetables. So if you're doing the exact right program that I'm recommending, you shouldn't have a problem because you're consuming a lot of vegetables. And this is just another reason why the vegetables are kind of like a, a missing component in other programs that if you add this in there, you're gonna prevent a lot of issues. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Keep spreading the word and share this video.